uh, J.F. Chen collection is a Getty Pacific Standard Time uh, exhibition. It's a uh, 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 participating gallery exhibition. Now the Getty in organizing uh, Pacific Standard Time uh, thought not only of coalescing uh, a group of museums and cultural institutions to celebrate uh, uh, art in LA and design in LA 1945 and 1980, but also to getting the message out that all these wonderful exhibitions are, uh, are taking place. Uh, this exhibition opened in October and it's up until January 14th of 2012. Now, in reaching the public, uh, the Getty wisely made the decision that uh, influencers, uh, uh, music stars, movie stars could help with that, and they recruited Ice Cube to help celebrate Pacific Standard Time. Ice Cube said <coughs> that he connected to the work of Charles and Ray Eames and would like to help the Getty promote all the Eames exhibitions that are on. There is this one, there's an exhibition at the Eames Gallery at 850 West Pico. There's an exhibition at the A Plus D Museum on Wilshire Boulevard. I was the consulting curator uh, of that one. Uh, there's one at the uh, Eames House and you can learn about that one at eamesfoundation.org. Um, with this poster, uh, Ice Cube recreated a famous uh, Charles Eames photo which uh, Charles uh, staged to promote the introduction of the first Eames chair to address the contract market, a chair that businessmen could use. And um, it's called the DAT-1. It was introduced in 1953. The uh, Eames Foundation uh, was interfacing with Ice Cube. Uh, working with the Eames Foundation, Ice Cube has made a wonderful Eames video, which you can find on YouTube. And the Eames Foundation called me and said, given that Ice Cube wants to recreate this photo, what can we do? And I said, well, that happens to be a very rare Eames chair, but there is one in the J.F. Chen collection, and we'll take a look at it now, the very one that Ice Cube sat in for this uh, uh, distinctive poster. So here we have the uh, DAT-1 of 1953 that Ice Cube uh, uh, sat in for this uh, poster. Um, it's a wonderful uh, and uh, uh, very sturdy chair, which is what Charles and Ray uh, uh, envisioned for it. It's got the one-piece uh, arm shell, and uh, this marks the uh, Charles and Ray's first use of aluminum. Um, and they used aluminum in a uh, very specific way. Uh, for a contract chair, they needed a sturdy base, and this is solid steel. Um, because it was going to get heavy office use, they sourced this wonderful uh, um, uh, paint, which in some ways is an industrial paint, but Charles and Ray didn't see a virtue in an industrial look. That's always a, a misconception about Eames designs. What they liked about industrial materials is that they were strong and, uh, and lasted for a long time. Um, this is remarkable. This chair was made in 1953. And because of this wrinkle baked enamel finish, there is no rust on this base and there's no uh, chips in, in the finish. And then they used a uh, uh, pure aluminum um, as a comfortable place to, uh, uh, for the sitter to rest his feet. Uh, if you didn't want to just put your feet on the floor, you could put your feet up on these comfortable uh, things. Um, famous Eames quote is, uh, innovate as a last resort. Um, before the Eameses would design something, they wanted to make sure that there wasn't something already existing that would service uh, uh, for the job. And they sourced from the uh, basic company, B-A-S-S-I-C-K, uh, this, which is called a flow tilt mechanism. And for the very first uh, 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 year or two of this uh, design, uh, they took the flow tilt mechanism just the way that basic supplied it with this uh, uh, very uh, uh, simple stamped steel uh, turning uh, uh, mechanism. Uh, as we'll see over the years, Charles and Ray worked on the DAT one and improved some of the features. Before uh, leaving this uh, uh, really cool chair, a few other things to note. It features the uh, first style of upholstery for the uh, uh, molded plastic arm shells where the material is uh, uh, consistent throughout the, the edges and the seat in the back is all this uh, great uh, premium uh, uh, Naga hide. But let's look at what uh, Ice Cube teaches us about Eames designs. He really understands them, and this is clear. 
Themes were masters of sampling. They took existing materials, mixed them into something greater, and served their designs up to the people.